This is pigskin bamboo. Also known as huzu. It's a good bamboo. It's got a pretty strong wood and it gets very, very tall. And it grows great in 7B because unlike all the other bamboos, it waits to send up its shoots until after all the frost is gone. It never makes a mistake on that. So I really should start planting my gardens after these shoot because they're an indicator of the frost being gone. I've heard so many stories about what plants you can trust to plant. Oh yeah, the oak when there's squirrels ear sized leaves, plant. And the pecans, plant when they're starting to get their leaves. None of that's true. Still get frost, still get burned. Still make that mistake. But this right here, really gross. After frost only. It's always right. Just like my dog. One of my dogs, he, uh, he knows when a thunderstorm's coming. He starts uh, getting real scared and worried way before anyone hears thunder or before the weathermen even say it's gonna happen. But this is a grove of huzu, pigskin bamboo. And they call it pigskin bamboo because it actually feels like a football or a pigskin. Got that same little indentions in there. None of that roughness, it's very smooth. But it's a pretty good sized bamboo. But it only sends up shoots like all the other for one month and um, only a certain few shoots. If they don't make it fast enough, they just die, like that one. And it won't be shooting anymore until next year, around May. But it sure feels cool in here. Another thing I don't think I've said is, in the winter time, the migratory birds are very, very tired and there's nothing green. So they come into these groves and they land in here for the night and they sleep. And they're safe from predators, and they can sleep peacefully and it shelters them from the cold. And of course, the good thing about that, if you've got, got a permaculture garden and you don't use artificial fertilizers, they leave their droppings that night and it contains minerals from all over the country, maybe even Canada, maybe even Mexico, because they're migrating. And that's good for your land. That's something that kept the prairies rich, the bison migrating and dropping droppings constantly by the millions across the prairie. And passenger pigeons used to do this they used to fly around migrating and when they came to your area for a whole week there was guano all over the ground guano is manure from flying animals can be bats can be any kind of birds seabirds whatever even bats mammals that fly but the good thing about guano from birds is it contains the urine and the manure the urine is the good part the manure has already been extracted but the urine is, is very well processed, fixed nitrogen. Thank you very much.